What's up guys? Your boy Emo Hunter Hunter here. Yeah, I'm in my emo phase. I got even bigger ears than I had before. Side of my hair is cut tight. Might even dye it pink. Cause I'm going through a phase. The real phase I'm going through is I beat the shit out of myself on that bike. So now we're doing some safety bar squats. Mike Trammell hooked me up. Trying to go really slow, high box. Let's just watch this thing. I want you guys to see it from the side. Tell me if Big Daddy's got the core strength. Let's put some music on. Emo phase. It's kind of hard. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That was pretty heavy. 325, no big deal. That hurt my shoulder. Let's be honest, we shouldn't be doing this, but I've got an ego that I need to feed. I might do one more, let's be real. And we're gonna go to belt squats, yeah. Unless you're listening to this while you're competing against me or training to compete against me, you All right, let's be real. All right, set this thing up. Get my exact stance for what's going on here. Set it up, set it up, where you at, girl? I'm doing a minute interval, 30 pounds. I'm just gonna try to like have exact form for my wall balls and I wanna be able to get more than you can imagine. Let's get a couple more upsets. I'm going for 45, let's go. Oh. So the goal here is the exact same form as I would do during wall balls and overload the legs just a little bit more than the reps I can handle in a race. Ah. Ah. Wow. It's in the hip flexors, baby. Woo. Okay, 43 reps. And, uh, ooh, pretty solid. We'll tell you then, the amount of energy I moved, I can go back in deeper and find out Strength plus 64, no big deal. I'm basically trying to find out how much intensity I can put into a movement into a period of time. Whereas like power lifters, how much weight can you put on the bar? How much volume and reps can I put into a period of, of time, which is a minute, because I want to get faster. And obviously I'm not going to be doing a lot of upper body intensity. So pretty good, thanks for tuning in. All right guys, it's early as all hell here. I got a tackle. It's supposed to two two hours, but I'm probably not going to be able to get it done before my podcast. Pre-workout, creatine, got on the scale. I was at 201, guys. This is big. This is fucking huge. I have been busting my ass. I think this next week, if all this uh, goes well and my inflammation and shit from all this bike accident goes down, I'll break 200 for the first time in a year about so that's massive we're on target we will be at 197 196 by april if the shoulders healthy we race we kill and i'm pumped we go for it um everything that we've been looking for i'm trying to get done it's gonna happen dude it's gonna happen you know high performance training is all these peaks and valleys and and all you gotta do is just keep on going up at a slight angle and you have to accept the valleys for what they are, whether it's injury, cold, being overweight, not having the greatest training weeks, whatever the fuck it might be, you just accept it. Um, and you know, obviously we're in the depths of an interesting little valley right now. It's right before my 35th birthday. Um, I've been a fucking head case over this injury. It just pissed me off because, you know, I don't care that I'm in pain. I care more about losing the opportunity to put together a training cycle that I really wanted to have and get the race that I've been looking for for years. <laughs> Elusive 52. Feeling pretty good, guys. Got my represent socks on. They're quite cozy. Uh, they just DM'd me today and said that they're sending out the new swag for spring 2024. Boy, it's gonna get to put it on. Look, all drop dead sexy. I'm quite excited. All right, I'm gonna get on the bike for a while. You probably don't want to watch this, but I might talk to you guys anyways. See you soon. All right, guys. Currently on the bike, just cranking around. You know, just under 200. Now that I've warmed up, I'm in the 
low twos to mid twos. And now I'm gonna get on the treadmill. Um, I totally did not recognize this, but I got elected as the team captain for our relay event at Worlds. And there's a meeting going on 13 minutes. They're gonna have to come and take it in the middle of my workout. Uh, so what happens when offices in Germany and you live the farthest away than anybody else in the Elite 15 from that location. So got another 90 seconds here and then I'm going to get on the treadmill, crank for another 30 or so minutes and I'm making a promise to myself I'm not gonna fucking complain about the shoulder anymore. Uh, I'm just sick of it. It's a, it's a, it's a reality. Um, you know, we're doing PT, we're working with the best people in the industry. That's it. Nothing else to do except for show the fuck up and win. And if I'm in pain, I did the same thing in TMX 2018. I tore my ankle. They told me I need to have surgery. They told me I couldn't run anymore. I went and I PT'd all the way up to championships. I taped the fuck out of it. I beat the shit out of everybody. And I felt it the whole time, but I won. And Years later, I'm still able to run, I'm fine. I just had to be smart. Do the PT and stuff afterwards, so that's my commitment. Don't let me complain. If you guys catch me complaining, I wanna hear about it in the comments. Light me the fuck up, hold me accountable. You guys are my team, so see you guys on the treadmill. All right, guys, I'm just finishing my last chunk here. I've been eating bananas. You can see the banana on the screen. Uh, I was able to do 25 minutes on here. Not what I wanted to get out today, but I think rest is the most important thing right now. Heart rate's been averaging between 130 to 145 on here at about 3.5 to 4.5 miles an hour, 50% incline. And uh, it's good, smooth, sweating. Uh, my internet dumped, so I missed half that meeting. So who knows what's gonna happen there. But uh, we're on to the next thing. Podcast of Christopher Velasky now. See you guys later. Oh yeah, baby. Round two, should a hike. And now I'm back on the bike for an hour. We're at the point where these workouts are getting so long that I've got gels. So I'm gonna pull this bike over here. I'm just gonna start ripping, bruh. I'm just gonna start ripping. Another zone two ride for about an hour hard on this thing. Keep the wass up. I can already see that I'm losing weight fast. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm not pumping iron. My body responds to weight lifting so much I can see my body kind of shriveled away. Like old potato. Ah, ah, you fucker. Oh God, let's do this. See you guys in a bit. Oh yeah, honky. Let's check this out. I'm two gels in. They're buck 89 a piece, 25 grams of carbs per gel. Now, I'm technically supposed to be three and a half hours of volume work today. Two hour session right now. We're 90 minutes into the session. Already had two gels and a banana at the beginning. Dude, bringing those gels in, this is no brag point for any company, makes such a difference. Like my watts have already gone up significantly. And I don't know if it's because I'm excited, the placebo effect, but dude, you just like start to kind of fall off. And hey, does it make a difference? You know, I still got my, my hydro here, which I'm cranking all the time, but eventually having those carbs, you can get carb replacement drinks, I prefer gels, like just a game changer. I'll tell anybody who starts to feel like they're getting lax of performance in the gym. Show the fuck up, eat a bunch of sugar. Also, I'm told I'm not supposed to swear that much anymore, even though I promise I wasn't, because it might be affecting an algorithm in the way that YouTube lets us get views. So we're gonna try to start censoring this and putting bleeps down. Sorry if you guys get annoyed, but we're trying to increase our spread, our knowledge, our opportunities. So that might just happen. Just give you guys a heads up. Bay, what's up, peeps? The bog pony's back. No big deal. He's got his triathlon kit on. Is this inside out? How is that possible? How is that possible? You'll help me out here for a second. I don't feel stupid. No, no it's not inside out. Thank God. That's right, bog pony. No big deal. May not be the smartest, but I am. All right, so check this out. Biceps and races. You guys know the fucking deal. I'm supposed to stop swearing, dude. We keep on getting hit with these explicit things on YouTube. We got a ton of coffee. Dang it, I swore I'd get in that quick. Ton of coffee, ton of honey. Ate a bunch of green pills. We're gonna take all the nanners. We're gonna go straight in. I already had to go to the airport this morning. I have to go to the airport again. Um, 
Boys just got to bash it, dude. He's out here getting it. Putting on my Hybricon Games hat. Um, heart rate monitor's on. Let's just go crank. Let's do 90 minutes. I'm supposed to do two hours, but you know me, I'm naughty. I always break the rules. I also just have to go to the airport. There's so much stuff going on. This is where I have to get somebody who's gonna help me manage my business because it's just too much crap going on. To be a champion, can't be doing all this other sh Let's see here. Big Daddy wants me to do only 90 minutes, but I'm supposed to do a 15 minute push sweet spot interval. What does that mean? Like Monday. So I'm gonna try to hold like 350, 320. Full recovery, no big deal. So we're gonna start that at the 30 minute mark. And then we'll do uh, the two 15 minute pushes with inside of 90 minutes. And then tonight, I'm gonna pump the beef. My dad's coming in town. This is gonna be sweet. All right, we just started the first interval and I'm gonna try to just stay at like 300 to 320. It's 15 minutes. And you know, obviously this is a pretty long interval. I have the average watt set, so it should creep up. And I want to be over 300 for sure this round. And I'm not trying to stress myself out too much. Yeah, so this should be good. Heart rate, 135 beats per minute. I'll probably end up at 145. Wow. All right. First one done. 303 watts. Not that bad. 15 minutes. That's about, I don't know, 75% of my FTP score. 15 minutes. I'm not dying. I got up to 158 beats per minute. The dog, the dog on me. The beast, the beast. Oh, they got me. That was not bad. It wasn't bad. I'm gonna recover. I'm gonna get some gels. I'm gonna go again. All right. Second interval. Yeah. Averaging higher watts than last time. I'll probably finish. Uh, 310, 315, eight minutes left. Mm. Uh, the sugar is starting to make a big difference. If you average the watts over, I'm holding about 142 to 140 for 15 minutes. That's not that crazy. Heart rate's not that high, but man, my legs are tired from earlier this week. Very tired, so we'll keep going. All right. Intervals are done. Uh, I had 5% power that last one. I kept my heart rate much lower than my intervals earlier this week. Like I got up to 167 today briefly. I got to 178 on Monday. I don't know if I had enough time to recover. So it's 24, 48. It lacked a threshold. It should take about 48 hours to recover from hard efforts. And cycling is not such an intense muscular effort as something like CrossFit. So it's enough time, but it's, uh, you know, I'm feeling it today. So I held it back at 165, 15 minute intervals. You know, if I did an FTP right now, I said 15 minutes at 315 watts. If I wanted to kill myself, I'd probably get 390. Maybe if I'm a freak, 400. And you know, it. why not? Go for gold, I'll get it before the season's up. This is the first time I've ever really done really specific wattage and heart rate bike stuff. Um, my coach way back when I was working with a guy named Yara Mada, Josiah Mada's brother. They would have me do bike intervals, but not like this. This is pretty crazy. God, I got to so work. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. By my side, I run away with you. What's up guys? It's getting early in the morning out here. I got to stop swearing because they keep on censoring at me on YouTube. Uh, gonna hit a hard squat workout, guys. Look at that pretty sunshine. It's a whole conversation. I know I've only got 40 minutes to get this workout done, but Jesus made this sunrise, so you guys deserve to see it. There we go, there we go. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Oh, sick, Hunter's got a grill. He's so cool. Damn. Don't be jealous. I trained in the best place on earth. What's up guys? So we are back to a strength training session. We've got the safety bar out. I borrowed this from my coach. I still want to keep some numbers on and I'll mostly be using belt squats for my workouts, but I did want to see what's going on in my strength, my legs, the bar I haven't used in a while. So 
since I can't really do that, I've got the safety bar coming across the top. We're gonna basically do an extended cluster set where I hit um, a sprinty set of six and I repeat 12 times with 15 seconds rest. I'm gonna add a little bit of weight and I'm gonna go for this thing. I'm just gonna suck it up. This is really not gonna be that strong of a thing, but I wanna see if I can hold power output and I'll just kind of measure how long it takes me to do every single set. So you guys are gonna see that in a second. All right, guys, I'm gonna be conservative as all hell with this first set. I'm gonna basically go 155. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. All this adds up to being about almost 70 reps. So we're gonna go for it. Have a little fun. Ah, quick six. Fifteen seconds rest, we'll go again. I didn't really warm up at all. We're warming up into this set. It's gonna suck. Oh shit, dude. We got a lot of these. That was way, way fucking harder than I thought it would be. Six minutes straight. I dropped it down. 135 to keep the power and speed. Oh, jeez, I feel sick. I actually kind of have a little bit of a head cold. The girl I've been seeing came over here and was sick. Fudge, she cursed me with her witch powers. More power! All right, you guys are gonna see me just do a whole set. Cause Big Daddy don't respect no bitch ass food. You guys are a little crooked. I'm trying to even you out a little bit. Oh, oh, here comes Big Dad. Let's just go. Five minutes. We can cut it if we need to. First set. Yeah, what? What now? Trying to really catch it in my glutes so I can accentuate the curve for my posts. Because I know. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> set two. It's not nearly as bad set two. It's just not. That's what's up. That's what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up. Four out of ten. I think now that I'm trying to figure out this bar, you can cheat it a little bit. First set, I was trying to squat. You're supposed to actually use the handles. Ah. At five. You don't need to watch any of this shit. All right, so I pulled out the last two sets, not to do with strength, but more so. I was diving deep down to those squats and I can start to feel a ton of quad damage coming in. So I did not want to mess up the two and a half hour bike ride I got today, which is really the breadwinner for me right now. Cause you know, high rocks as much as it is leg endurance, it's really just about endurance. Like you gotta have a crazy sick engine. You can't be around and trying to figure out whether or not you know you're gonna do a squat PR this cycle that's a different time of year yesterday was 12 weeks exactly out from world championships so I've got no ego attached to what's on the bar I have an ego attached to winning that race all right today is going to be a bit of a, a hybrid set I was supposed to do strength yesterday and today since I wasn't able to do that I'm doing this now, so I'm gonna do an endurance set, which was supposed to be squats, which I kind of just got out of. I'm just gonna do single leg, because I was supposed to do single leg today. So, just focusing on pumping up his thigh. Uh, after those squats, this is kind of brutal. 60 seconds each side. What's up, Daddy? I didn't know you were here, Mr. Handsome. Oh, 
Yeah, I have my own camera screen on front so I can see my pretty face. So, your boy's here. I'm cranked the f up on pre workout. Dang it, I swore again. Let's be honest. It's a curse, right? It's 11 o'clock in the morning. I've been on calls all day drinking coffee and eating carbs. I feel like a crazy person. Two bananas, three dates, two cups of coffee, pre workout, and three packets of oatmeal deep. And uh, right now I've got five by five on the tread, uh, not treadmill, I was supposed to be on the treadmill. I've got five by five on the bike, five by five minutes. We're gonna try to hold four to 500 watts average. I'm gonna go just under on the first one, just because I wanna test it, so high threes. Then I'm going to do, uh, basically, I'm gonna work on cranking it up, maybe hold 500 for the last one. It's crazy how Lance Armstrong held over 500 watts for 30 minutes and I think 2001. Damn, he's my hero. I know you guys don't like him because he dopes, but he's my hero. I love him, he can never hurt me. He's the coolest guy ever. God, he's so cool with his thin thighs. I wish I was that skinny and fast. But I'm the ball pony, it's a curse. I accept it, I accept my beautiful body for what it is. All right guys, first interval coming up in three, two, hit. Conservative. My goal is to keep it under 165 beats per minute to war. To war, bitch. I don't want to get into that grimace face like I usually do. What ended up happening was we're not going to race Cologne anymore. So I have to extend this training cycle out. It'll be more volume, less downtime because no international travel. That means more time in here. We don't have to go crazy mode just yet. Scott was too hard. I did uh, those squats yesterday. I had to push them to yesterday because I had too much in my life Wednesday. And now I'm doing intervals that should have been easy and they're dog hard. I mean, I only got to 164 beats per minute. You guys have seen me up at 178 and those last beats kill souls. This is too intense uh, on my legs for the heart rate that I'm using. So. Today may not be the day. We may drop the load, text my coach about it later. I have to just be more exact with my workouts. Stop allowing selling supplements and stupid business calls to get in the way. I'm not gonna make excuses, I'm just gonna tell you the truth. I'm being a bitch. All right, well, again, I'm the end of my fourth interval. Keeping my heart rate even. I'm having a hard day. Ow. 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 So, I'm not having a great day. Calorie cutting, heavy squats the day before. You know, I'm off by about 20%, and that's okay. Like, you know, it's not all gonna hit every day. I think what you really wanna have is, you know, one in three workouts, you wanna feel like a god. And that's what we've been doing, you know. How a bit of a hit last week, rolling out of it this week. I may feel really good on tomorrow's long ride. That's okay. You know, next week, we're gonna try to go back to the core workouts of our plan. Still going to make sure that we're prepared to keep on losing weight and keep on getting good scores. You know, interestingly enough, I'll show you guys later, but I did a ride yesterday and over the four times at least showed up on my Strava, it was the best score I've ever had, the lowest heart rate for that speed ever. So I'm heavier than I've ever been and I'm doing the work at the same speed, if not faster, at a lower heart rate. And that's all you can ask for. You know, efficiency, economy, power, speed. That's what we're aiming for, baby. All right, guys. So we're getting really into this. Fat caliper, body measurement pincher, for myself, I have to take three numbers. We did this last night, but I'm gonna deal with you. The tip and a vertical line, vertical line, vertical line, next to the belly button, next to the thigh. You guys see this little thing? So, we're gonna do this tip. Five. 
We're going to do six, eight. Okay, so we take all three of the numbers. We're going to add them up. Five plus six is 11, eight is 19. So my age is right here, 33 to there. And so we get to the score of 18, 18 to 20. Looks like I'm 10% body fat, I think. Is that right? I have no fucking clue. Damn, I swore again. We gotta get down here, guys. We gotta get down here. So age 35, all my score is adding up. So I'm 10% body fat, looks like. I'm fat, is what it says. I'm a fat idiot. <laughs> Why? All right, guys. It is my birthday ride. I just turned 35 today. Just made a new friend. We're in the pack. We're keeping it tight, guys. So we're going to do what's called the double cafe ride today. We're going to ride up PCH from Topanga. We're going to stop at Starbucks, hit Trancas. Then we're going to the Montanias. We're going to hit a double peak, old place, maybe McDaddy's. By the way, guys, I broke 200 pounds today. I'm feeling fucking floss and my body, it's a wonderland. It's a gorgeous thing to be admired and seen. It should be shined like a Fabergé egg because this is one fine piece of ass. All right, guys, showing you guys my favorite canyon on my birthday, Hensonal Canyon. The boys are ahead of me because I'm getting weak. No, I'm just kidding. I feel pretty good, actually. Heart rate's really low. It's only 118 beats per minute going up this hill, but uh, cutting back on the food. You can feel the horsepower cutting back. We're gonna go to the old place, get some big cookies. Should be a game changer. So this is pretty crazy. I've been going up these hills. My heart rate's 120 beats per minute. And granted they're not going super hard, but that's really low, which is great. It's exactly where I wanna be. Basically cost less to do more. You know, in the middle of this three plus hour ride, it's just cheap. I'm just able to do it. A little hungry, a little tired, but it's really not cost me that much. So when it comes to race day and time to crank, I'll just carb up like crazy and I'll be a fucking rocket ship. I shouldn't swear. I'll be a very non-swearing rocket ship. All right, so we're on the iconic spot called the Snake on Mulholland. They had to shut it down, but you can see snow-capped mountains in the background. It snakes all the way through the hills down to the old place. Now we're gonna go get some sweet snakes. All right, so we just came into this juncture where there is, this is all collapsed, the boys, we're making a crossing. The whole road is gone. This is how crazy rainstorms can be in California. This is insane. It's gone. Yeah, you can make it. Wow. This is insane. I've never seen anything like this in all my years. It's totally gone. The pavement is gone. I don't know how. Do you think they destroyed this? I think they dug that thing completely out and ruined the road. I've never seen that. Holy shit. California is going goodbye. The hardest part of this ride is actually getting my GoPro out on this side. I'm so tight on that shoulder. But we're way out here in the mountains. Huge ass waterfalls blasting off. This house right here is for sale. Probably gonna buy it, cause I deserve it. Kind of a perfect view for me being on top of a mountain. Just saying. But uh, feeling good. Heart rate's still low, about 140 beats now. Going up a steep mountain. And that game changer was eating that bread. That huge coffee, cookie and bread. Probably about six to 700 calories just there. Game changer, baby. All right, guys. We just finished the big ride. Four hours, 13 minutes, 53 miles. 5,500 feet of climbing. Whoop, whoop. Your boy's a beast. It's no big deal. It's not like biceps when races or anything. It's not like the donkey legs king is back. Senior donkey legs. Yeah, it's no big deal. Feel pretty gosh darn good, guys. Now time to go crush some food. Have an awesome birthday dinner. What's up? It's your boy Hoot. Hoot. It's my birthday. I got a bunch of gifts because people love me. No, I'm just kidding. I bought it all for myself. I'm depressed. I'm depressed. Nobody cares. No, this one came from uh, my boy Michael at Creatures of Habit. Now, this dude right here is a savage. We've actually been working with each other on and off since 2017. I met him. We were both doing a campaign together, and I had to do some work out with him at a tone house in New York City. 
And this dude was this freaking super ripped chef. And he was like in his 40s and shit. I was like, damn, you look way too good. You're more ripped than I am. And I'm supposed to be the fit athlete, dude. And uh, I respected him immediately. And since then, he's launched his own brand. I launched my own brand. I mean, it's pretty dope, dude. Look at this. This is our little overnight oats container. I don't know how exactly it works, but we'll definitely be talking about it. This is not a paid for ad, by the way, guys. Like, I think it's really cool. Online, I connect with everybody I can who started their own brand, and you just kind of have conversations. You help each other out, talk about branding, support each other. You know, dude gave me a dope hat. He knows I love hats. He also connected me with my hero. I'm not gonna tell you who just yet, but it could be the biggest game changer of my entire life. I'm basically super excited. I don't really know how the best to say other than my dreams are coming true, but let's give you the inside scoop. So this is the sleep elixir. This is a new product they have. Pumped about that. Sleep like shit all the time. It's right here. Hoping this is a flashlight because it gets dark at night and you know I get scared. No, it's a whisker. Everybody loves a good whisker. All right, let's go to the real product though. So there is protein packed oatmeal and you guys know that I love oatmeal. You've noticed in almost all my training that I'm cranking oatmeal. Now let's go over the macros. Um, you know, ingredients, rolled oats, pea protein, roasted pumpkin seeds, organic brown flax. So it's got really good ingredients. Macros, we're looking at eight grams of fat. I'm sure that's through the pumpkin seeds and things like that. Carbohydrates, we're at 37. Sodium, we're at 630. So you're immediately starting off the day with getting some uh, electrolytes. Uh, and 13 grams of protein. I've said this a lot. Athletes always have the hardest time getting protein in their diets. One way I would already enhance this thing, and this is for the average person, they don't need it, for an elite athlete, you take one pack of this and then put about two to four tablespoons of honey on top of it, which you guys know I love to do. This right here is basically a crack pack. So after training, even before training, if you wanna really carb up, it's that you know four to one ratio I'm talking about. So if you end up taking basically 36 grams of car 37 grams of carbohydrates, you add on four tablespoons, you're looking at another 60 grams of carbs. So we're about 110 grams of uh, carbs and you get 30 grams of protein. So it's almost that four to one ratio. That'd be a great meal to start out the day if you're kicking ass. If you're trying to stay lean, I'm cutting right now, pull out the carbs a little bit, but I'm telling you guys right now, there's some pretty sweet stuff in here and I'm getting excited. God, I'm excited. What do you think's in this box? Better be a gold chain, you know I love gold. Is it gold? Is it a gold chain? Put your finger, don't your finger. Dang it, it's a mug. That was for sure gonna be a gold chain. No, I'm just kidding, this is a sick mug. All right, um, let's see what else I got for my birthday. A wine glass decanter, because everybody knows I'm a drunk. Gosh, my family knows me too well. And then a bottle of wine, I think. Let's see here. Okay, Colony Liquors, Hunter McIntyre, Mom, Scott, Garrett, and Jackie. That's my, my family. Um, <clears throat> ooh, 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 cashews. Doesn't make any sense, but I like it. Ew, oh, a little chocolate ball. I can't even eat those because I'm fat. Oh, some more pistachios. What did they think I was gonna do? A Rambala. A Napa Valley Cabernet. 2019, this thing's gotta be baller. I'm probably gonna save it for somebody special and not spend it all on myself and royal dark chocolate. So this is what you gift a single man who spends most of his nights on top of a mountain by himself. Pretty excited, uh, but Recap of this, really excited to see what Creature's Habit has to offer. The other recap is I can't eat any of these treats because I'm currently in cutting mode. I probably will not drink again until April. I'm not gonna let myself drink until I break 195 pounds because I'm a fat POS. If I swear, I'm going to an extend a day, which means I'm probably not gonna drink for the next 10 years. So let's work on that as a crew, all right guys? We're gonna practice French. Au revoir. All right, guys, we're gonna try to science the hack the shit out of High Rocks right now. I've got a meeting right now with the Altitude Center out of London. Let's see if this works out well. This meet is a reoccurring meeting. What's up, bud? How are you? I'm very good, how are you? All good, all good. I got a surprise when I saw that you'd booked into my, my calendar today and I thought that you were down in London. And I'm like, how, how has he been in California yesterday? And is in London today. Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't understand. It. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I'm an idiot, but it's 
a little bit confusing the way that you guys have it set up. I couldn't tell if it was an online consultation. So I'm like going all over your website and I'm reading stuff. So in reality, my, my main goal was just to have a conversation, ask a couple questions you might have information to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, go for it. What, what were you wanting to have a chat about? Yeah, so we were doing altitude camps because when I originally got and started endurance racing, I, I don't know if you know what I do for a living, but I run and we would go and do com competitive mountain races for Spartan Race um, at World Championships up in Tahoe. So you're, you're racing anywhere between six and 9,000 feet up and down, up and down. So you might as well get used to it. Otherwise, it's going to suck bad when yeah. you get up there. Then when I got more into CrossFit and then I started to get into a sport called High Rocks, I got away from that because I was like, I'm not racing up at altitude anymore. It's hard to get all the equipment to where I want to go. Now I have more resources, so I'm able to create an altitude camp again. I've done all the research. I understand the value of it. And I go and I look at your website and your reference pages of like six weeks here can now all of a sudden transfer over to 10% gain here, 15% gain there. I was just kind of wondering, have you guys coached anybody doing altitude, using altitude camps to prepare for events in the future? Yeah. Actually, interesting you brought that up because right now we're running a training, altitude training camp for High Rocks. Okay. Specifically. So it'll be really interesting once we have the data and the results of that. Um, essentially, it's like a mini little study. So yeah. at the moment... People are coming in for their pre-testing. So we're doing the VO2 max test and 1K time trial. And then over a six-week period, people are getting access to our site. So we've got an altitude chamber at 2,700 meters. We have like passive altitude exposure, which is a form of um, altitude exposure called intermittent hypoxic exposure. Mm -hmm. So it's five minutes of high altitude air, five minutes of sea level air. And that contrasting between the high altitude and the low altitude is really good for promoting blood flow and helping with recovery. So throughout those six weeks, people getting access to that. Um, and then afterwards, we're doing um, the post-testing. It'll be interesting to kind of see a lot of these. All right, people. I am doing an unboxing. And when I say unboxing, I mean unbagging. Represent just sent me the new spring line. I don't want you guys to get jealous, but I'm sponsored. And I have sweat me. And wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, are you a little jealous because daddy's got some new short shorts? Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, I need those. Honestly, I need more short shorts because people need to know about my new donkey legs. It's racing season. Let's go inside bag number dose. Oh. Oh, oh, a high cut line, high cut runners. No big deal. These are daddies. And dude, I don't think we had these before. This is sick. It's the high cut. And also we got a zipper in the back so I can keep all sorts of freaking sweet stuff. These are the new racers, dude. So I've been, I created this cut line, but now they've adjusted it. This is fire. I'm not gonna lie. You guys seem jealous. You guys seem really jealous. Pink shirt, I'm gonna leave this inside because I wanna make sure I take some good pictures of that. What's inside of here? What's this? Oh, what? Oh, another hoodie for Hunter? What? Really? I can't open this back, god damn. Damn! On a mission, 247. You guys basically know, not only am I the fastest man in fitness, but my swag is pure fire. I'm mostly pumped about the new adjusted running shorts. And this is the same color gray shirt. So basically, I'm fire. Um, as fire as it gets. Guys, right now, I'm about to go smash some intervals. I'm cranked up on pre-workout. And once my shoulder's all rehabbed, I'm gonna put all these outfits on and I'm gonna look mega cool and mega fast. So if you guys haven't tried out reps gear, like obviously you guys always see me wearing it. They were really the first people to believe in me and in the high rocks market. And when I first got involved with them, there was like no 24 seven stuff out there. Now it is global. Everywhere you go in the high rock space, everybody's wearing it. It's fucking awesome. Um, I, I'm a ride or die for the brand. Like I, I believe anybody who backs my endeavors and also the company, the ethos, the people inside. Michael um, is kind of like the unseen brother of George and he does a lot of the design. I love that guy. 
I love the team. I love the office. George is like the hardest hustler on the freaking planet. I love that dude. So I feel really aligned. Young guys all on this crazy mission of just getting shit done. And, you know, dude, the sky's the limit for this team. So shh, join the club. All right, we're currently doing outdoor intervals. I guess this isn't charged at all. Sick. I love technology. Sweet. Super sweet. Uh, out here on the porch. Uh, someone just asked me if uh, this is my family money. Yes. I was born a billionaire and I will live like a billionaire for the rest of my life. Sorry guys. I suck to be you. No, I wasn't born to a billionaire family. But that'd be dope. I would be doing this dumb fucking sport. I'd be on a beach somewhere, not exercising above it. Gosh, you guys are stupid. Ah! That was so hard. I can't even hold my fucking camera. Ah! Oh, three by 10. I was able to match and go higher for my watch for five minutes on Friday. I was able to double the time, 10 minutes, and get higher. So it hurt a lot after that big bike ride this weekend, but this is it. Just sucking at the and nailing these things. I mean, it hurts. I was just watching videos of me racing in Stockholm. Look at the size difference. I don't know if you'll be able to see the screen. Come on, you stupid ads. Sorry, guys. I didn't plan this out properly. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, another ad. What the sh Sorry, I shouldn't swear. YouTube. Who the f are you? Ah, oh, guys, I blew this. I blew this hard. I, I suck. The worst YouTuber ever. Well, if you looked at me in Stockholm versus now, it's an entirely different person. I've literally lost maybe 11 pounds and it's noticeable when I go up into the mountains, I haven't spent a lot of time on flats because I usually save that for intervals. Um, and being on the bike that's stationary, it doesn't really add up, but fitness is there, you know. I haven't added a ton of top end, but that sustainable power, because my top end is high, is gonna get so much easier and so much longer because I'm lighter, you know. It'd be like the difference between throwing a shot put versus a baseball. You know, obviously it's pretty drastic, but it should explain the kind of feeling that we're looking for. Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, castles and scavenge. No big deal. I'm not supposed to swear. But I wasn't a nobody. I gotta do my butt stuff. Ugh. 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 Mm, I gotta work on my outer glutes to make them massive. I don't know if this works. My coach says it does. <laughs> 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 Of that stuff. Yeah, no big deal. You didn't expect that, did you now? Alright, it's the heaviest I've gone in a while. I'm gonna go deep. It's a lot of pressure on this little gutter button. We're gonna fucking go for it. No big deal. Thunder cheeks in the fucking building. Damn it, I swore again. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty heavy. I haven't done this in a long time. But I'm feeling a little risky. <laughs> yeah, man! I'll take a dog for a ride! Mm, oh, you little <laughs> God, that shifted forward like a motherfucker. <laughs> Woo! The thunder thighs are working. But that ball rolled on me pretty nice. And it hurt. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, guys, I'm back. This is my second run since the injury. I was just on the bike for about a half hour. No, hour. I'm lying to you guys. I'm doing way more volume than you think I am. I'm out of line. I would never tell you what I'm really doing. There's so many secrets inside of my house. Uh, I'm just gonna do a minute on, a minute off, about 10. To 15 rounds. The goal is to not be hurt. What's that? Hunter's got a banana. 
All right, here we go. Let's talk our way through this first minute. Hopefully it doesn't hurt. And we're off. Ah! Woo! He's out of control. Look at him go. Look at him, look at him, GTs. Ah, it's the worst YouTube ever. Okay. You guys can't really see me, but you can be there in spirit, knowing that I'm up to no good. So, basically, uh, I did a mile and a half yesterday. I'm warming the body up. And next week, I have Rich Diaz coming out here to do a VO2 max test with me, lactic threshold testing, and basically uh, work on my stride, get me back in shape again. So basically, we're turning Hunter into a superhuman beast. <laughs> no big deal. How cute do I look in my bike outfit? Yeah, I'm a hot piece of trash. All right, so I have currently been on here for almost 30 minutes. We're currently at a 6.30 pace, and I'm just doing a minute on, a minute off, and I, I actually feel really good. I'm being super conservative about my body movement. I'm being, you know, if I feel something, I'll slow down, but I just slowly increased it. Heart rate's still low. You can tell just by taking two weeks off of running, just the muscle groups getting back into it, it's already pretty sassy. 